Hey everyone, I just wanted to take a few minutes to show you how to create a new annotation assignment in Schoology and then also what that looks like on the student side, just to give you an idea of what we're talking about when we say annotation assignment. So from your course, you can go to add materials and add assignment, just like we've always done. But you should notice now when you go to add an assignment uh, that there is now a annotations assignment available here right next to OneDrive assignments that's been here for a long long time you see annotations assignment if you are familiar with a program called Kami uh, this is kind of the Schoology um, answer to Kami which we do not pay for as a district and now that we have this we wouldn't need to so here in your assignment you're going to um, name that assignment, put in any of your assignment details, um, but instead of doing the OneDrive assignment, which you've probably done before, we're going to click on annotations assignment. There are a lot of different file types that are accepted for this. Um, PDFs are really going to be a, an easy one, a way to drop in, and this is a question a lot of people have asked. How do I get a PDF into my students' hands electronically and let them do things on that PDF. Um, and this is the answer for that. Now that I have everything filled in, I have attached the PDF that I want to use. I click Create. And this is going to create an assignment for my students to complete using that PDF. And they have a variety of tools that I'm going to show you in just a second from the student view. So let's take a look at what that looks like from the student side of the assignment. I'm going to go in as a student now to open this PDF that my teacher has assigned to me. Um, with this screen, let's take it to full screen so you can see a little bit more. So here is the PDF, and I have a variety of tools here that I can use. I have typing tools and I have drawing tools. So typing tools are going to be a little bit more precise. Drawing tools are going to be more freehand. Uh, I can start with highlight. So maybe in my instructions, I told my students to highlight the subject of every sentence, and they can simply highlight those within the text. And in the typing side, very clean lines that you are going to get as you're highlighting. You can underline. Uh, so maybe I told them to underline prepositions. And again, nice straight lines wherever we are underlining. Um, you can also do strike out. So uh, perhaps you want them to strike out a section of the sentence, um, or maybe I want them to strike out the verb once they have conjugated the verb in the sentence um, so that they have that visual. You can do squiggle underlines. So I can squiggle underline this word. And then you also have a typing tool. So you can choose the color of your type and simply drop your box in here and fill in the word for each of these verb forms. Okay, so um, those are the typing tools that you have and these can be lined up and moved around. Um, it, it's hard to get them exactly on the line, um, but you can pick them up and move them around. You have the hand tool up here at the top um, that helps you to do that as well. Uh, you can also freehand write on here, off to the side there, and you have freehand highlight. So maybe we just want to highlight over that and it straightened it out for me, and you can change the color of your highlighter as well. On the draw side, you have some basic tools here to freehand draw. You can freehand highlight, just like we had over on the type side. Um, you can make shapes with things. So we have the rectangle, circle, um, the polygon, and the cloud, making a straight line, making a polyline, um, and in inserting an arrow into your document. Um, so this is a really, really, this is kind of a game changer in our mind for ways that you can take things and convert them to an electronic format. Um, Darren and I are happy to sit down and walk you through how to do this, um, but it's very intuitive. The tools are fairly simple. Uh, we would note that this is still in a testing phase. 
with Schoology. So this is not necessarily the final form. They're still working out those flaws and those problems we asked to be part of that testing out process. So if you do notice something, uh, maybe there's a feature that you want to suggest, let us know and we can pass that on to uh, the support people at Schoology to give them that feedback. All right, so let us know if there's anything we can do to help and um, enjoy.